Hey y'all, it's Mommy Wata and I am back. Thank you so much for your support of Mommy Wata Tarot. Let's see what the collective messages are at this time for those people listening to me. Holy Spirit, what is it that you would like for them to know from you through me at this time? What are we talking about, Holy Spirit? Let's just see what comes out. We got downloads we can explore, but let's let's throw a let's throw a toss up one up in there, Holy Spirit. What is it that you want us to know at this time? Let's do one more shuffle. One more shuffle. What are the messages, the whispers from the universe at this time, Holy Spirit? Let's see. In limbo. Somebody don't know what to do. Priorities. They're trying to decide what is important, what steps they should take about something here. They don't know what to do, though. Take a break. They may need to unplug. If they're not in a clear headspace and they're not sure what direction to go in and what is important right now they may need to unplug and reassess reflect recover some and then go back to the drawing board because they're not getting anywhere They're not able to make a decision. Somebody wants you and somebody else don't want you to be a part of something. Okay. And they want to, some, some aspect of this sector wants to bring you in and the other part don't. And they've been at a stalemate trying to decide if they want to work with you. And I feel like you could be, you could be a BBW child. See, you ain't, you do not, if, if this is who trying to recruit you, police, Police in some some sector of the police force. I'm telling you right now that you ain't the ideal prospect. But God has qualified you for something in these people's eyes, at least some of them. And they want to work with you, but some of them don't want to work with you. Some of them want to just completely let go of this idea to bring you in as somebody to partner with. But there's an other, there's an, an another aspect of this sector who feels like it's a priority to have you partner with them. So it's a, it's a clash of opinion here. But baby, they've been talking about you now. Both sides. Because even the side that don't want to include you, they can't deny that you're anointed somehow. That you have some sort of divine qualities that are worth investing in. They just don't, they just don't like that it's coming from you. Look what came out. There is some sort of wealth within you that they know that they could benefit from if they chose to partner with you. But it's who you are. That's what I'm hearing. Coming out here is this BBW. You could be South American. You could be in South America. Or you could have, have come from South American lineage here. Okay. 
but they have a very unclear meaning about you. They ain't sure about you, honey. They won't. Look, at the end of the day, if they brought you on, the people who don't even want you to be there, they would still be all right with it because they know you an asset. Okay? And if they try to play you like you ain't an ass asset, jokes is on them, and they know that. Like, they've already tried to play you. They've already tried to prove that you wasn't who God says you are, and the joke was already on them. That's why this group is in limbo now. Because, see, some, you've already proven something that you didn't even know you proved here. And they don't know how you did it, but you did that shit. That's why they, they want to get you so bad. I'm telling you now. And you have already shown that you have some sort of alien lineage, whoever the hell you are. I'm telling you. Teach me how to love. Sex magic then came out here. What the hell is going on? Now, if there are all kind of departments and sectors that I'm picking up on right now that I didn't even know existed within the police force. Somebody tried to experiment on you spiritually. Yeah, they did. Somebody tried to mess with your mental state to see what was really up with you. I'm picking up on some sordid ass shit from one part of this group and I'm picking up on some upright, legitimate, honorable energy. Like this group is divided because half of them ain't right and the other half of them is. But both of all of them want to win. So that's why they still, you know, doing what they got to do together. But there's a, a part of this sector who has tried to break you down, who has tried to prove that you're not who God says you are. Somebody spent, sent some sort of spiritual warfare, sex magic towards you to see if they could manipulate your mind, but it didn't work. It didn't work. trick somebody tried to trick you spiritually they wanted to see how you were going to react and you did not take the bait spiritually contract now these people want to offer you a damn contract i'm telling you because whatever they tried to do to you you didn't beat they ass haters these haters these haters don't want you to get this contract they don't want you to get this offer because it's a big one okay the terms of this contract are quite lovely but you have some sort of healing aspect to you you have something here that's very special about you that these people have picked up on and they want to work with you with the exception of a few. Okay, so we finna stop right here. And we finna see what else the Holy Spirit wants us to know about this. Because see, the wheel is turning in this situation. They may have been in limbo for a while. But I feel like they're about to extend this offer to you. Because it ain't nothing else really that need to be proven. You didn't prove it all. You surpassed the odds. I'm telling you, and whoever's within this group who tried to spiritually attack you and mess with your mind to see if you was weak, it's really giving it. They asked somebody to fuck around and fell in love with you too. Okay? Trying to fuck with your mind and shit. So, Holy Spirit, what else do we need to know, child? I was trying to, I've been trying to work on my cussing, y'all. That's part of my New Year's resolution. Is not cursed so much. But child, when I be picking up on this kind of crap right here, I don't know. My ancestors, they, you know, they don't like no stupid shit. 
1001. So this is the type of energy you gonna get when I be picking up on stupid shit. Okay, if you're new to this channel, 1010, and you were wondering about the energy shift, child. Because whoever you are, you done passed about 15 fucking tests with this group, and you ain't even know it. And they still trying to decide about you? Okay. What else, Holy Spirit? The chariot. Look what's on the damn car. Don't that look like a police officer to you? This some set of the judicial system, baby. I was picking up on about four different offices. Like, I ain't really trying to tell nobody business. But they got a sector for people like you in this judicial system, this police force I'm picking up on. Okay, just know that. They they got a place for people like you there. Emperor. And when they gain knowledge about you and who you were. That's when the debate in the battle began, baby, with this nine of cups. Because I'm telling you, some of these people ain't want your ass to be a part of their group. You know, it's really giving like, you, you know, you eat your cabbage and rice, okay? We eat cabbage and rice where I'm from. And that cabbage and rice is... That that trait it it falls under many facets of who you are. Okay, so I'm hearing that you probably are country. You probably don't have the best dialect. That ass fat, that body busting, okay. But but you don't fit this. pantsuit, loafers, ponytail and a bun energy I'm picking up that the women 1212 who work where they work at dress. You don't you don't look like the normal person that they fuck with on a daily basis doing what they do. And that's part of it now. That's part of why part of this portion of this group don't want to fuck with you. It's your looks. It's your, it's your lineage, for sure. Because remember, you South American came out here for you, too. So I don't know where the hell you from. But it's something ethnic about you, okay? That ain't in alignment with how most of the women they deal with in this profession look. That, that was the issue, I'm telling you, with some of these people. Knight of Cups, Hangman. But... This offer is still coming to you, okay? That's what I'm getting. Like, they're going to be forced to have a new perspective if they haven't changed their minds already. And it's still a few who, who refuse to look at you any differently. There are still a few who want to restrict you from this opportunity in some way like either you don't get the full contract they want to offer you or you don't get nothing at all okay that's their vibe they do not want this communication to come into you about how this group wants to work with you and utilize you it's something that you do spiritually that these people feel like will help them Okay, and they do want to offer you some sort of contract, like an independent contract to communicate. For, if you are a psychic or a medium, if you have any spiritual gifts, abilities, I mean, you, you got some sort of spiritual, supernatural something going on. And they want you to be some sort of communicator, some sort of. I'm going to say mediator, child shit. See, that's why I said I wasn't going to dig too deep into what all these motherfuckers had going on because they ain't got shit to do with me. Okay, but God wants you to know how people have been truly looking at you, inspecting you, and considering you, Queen of Swords. And you're about to get this offer, child. The offer coming. Okay. And this King of Wands is who try to do this damn sex magic on you. Look, child. I can't look. 
Look, I'm going to show y'all. We had King of Wands, Three of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Devil with the Lovers. Okay, let me see how I can do this. Devil with the Lovers, then the Two of Cups, Queen of Wands. So he was playing in your energy. It's like he may be spiritually gifted as well. I'm sure he is. And he told somebody within this sector, like, watch this. I bet you I can fuck with her mind. I bet you I can make her be all fucked up in the head spiritually thinking that she got a love match on the horizon. I bet you I can disturb her chi. I can throw her off her game. That's what he told somebody now. That he may have actually betted that he could prove that you were not deserving of this offer, this contract. Okay? What happened with that? Because I'm hearing that you surpassed the odds. You made this motherfucker eat his words. We have the moon. He didn't see it coming. He didn't see you peeping his spiritual manipulation. Because I'm telling you, that's what you did. Clarify. Page of Wands in reverse. Five of Swords, Five of Wands. See, this is what he got when he came with that damn sex magic and that slick spiritual love offer. The fuck with your mind? He got a Page of Wands in reverse. Five of Swords, Five of Wands. Look like he got cussed out and beat up spiritually to me. That's what this is giving. Okay. So see... He didn't prove this other sector who want to work with you. They don't know that this King of Wands did this to you spiritually. But the people that he key key with that don't want to fuck with you, they know he did this. Okay? They know he did this because his ass is right here right now for trying to put some damn sex magic on you. And that shit didn't backfire now because now he's stressed and obsessed and dreading you coming in and seeing you daily because y'all work together okay that's what's plaguing him now because this man done fucked around and fell in love with your ass and i can't make it up four swords king of cups so see you've proven in multiple ways i'm telling you you done passed about 15 tests and this is just one of them you have proven that you got some sort of alien DNA, that you are revered by the most high God, and that they don't need to spiritually fuck with you. They don't need to fuck with you spiritually now, because this man is right here. He in fucking limbo, fucking around in your energy. High priestess. So the people who didn't want you, to be a part of this group that know how this King of Cups, King of Wands is now struggling from playing in your energy with this High Priestess, Seven of Cups, to this Eight of Swords, to this Five of Cups, because I'm telling you, baby, he fucked up now. And they know he fucked up because of what he did against you. They, they having second thoughts, third, fourth, and fifth thoughts. Like, they still don't like you. But they know you ain't nothing to fuck with. So maybe they do need to get over their little quirks about you and accept you as a member of their team. Because I'm telling you, that's that's what's going to happen. This emperor done already damn decided that you finna get this contract. Seven of Swords in reverse. So they might as well cut the bullshit. And I'm telling you, this King of Wands, King of Cups ain't going to try shit else. In regards to your energy, because he might be spiritually gifted, but he know you a spiritual powerhouse. 1919, because his ass got kicked now when he came playing in your energy with that sex magic and that teach me how to love bullshit. They, oh, they know. Oh, they know now. You deserving of every damn bit of what this contract entails. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Well, I wasn't expecting this to hit the table. But somebody got a, a job offer coming in before the end of the year. Before the new year, these people going to reach out to you with a contract. 
Any final messages, Holy Spirit? Anything else? Two of Swords. That, that's they in limbo trying to figure out the specifics of it. But baby, that offer is coming. Okay? And also, if you were in school about to obtain a degree or something, these people could have also been waiting to see if you finished school. You see, them women got robes on like they graduated. I'm telling you, you about to get an offer. They were undecided for a while, but your offer is coming in. Okay? And I think I'm going to drop the mic on that. That was short and sweet and to the point. But that's why you don't play around in people's energy. That's why you don't play around in people's energy. Because this man is dreading having to work with you and see you daily. But he's secretly in love with you as a result of trying to spiritually manipulate your mindset about love in general. Like he was he was telling these people, oh, she ain't to watch this watch how i have her fucked up in the head child shit he fucked up in the head and they see it too boy they like oh oh okay then that's what they saying now but if it doesn't apply please let it fly take only what resonates leave the rest and i'll be back soon with another one y'all peace